and, and much more important than most Americans realize. Uh, we had the privilege, Senator, of being on the border together yes. uh, about a little, a little more than a month ago when we were with Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith as well and Senator Britt from Alabama. This was part of a CODEL that you had planned and put together to get to the truth. And before we get to China, I think we need to talk about the border and our national security. I guess I want to start with what was your perception with this border trip? Because for the first time, I think, we had a victim who survived human trafficking. She had come in from Mexico. You had met an advocate, a former congressional uh, representative from the state of Mexico, Rosie Orozco, and ranchers in the valley that have been overwhelmed with the amount of people that have been traversing their land and coming into this country illegally. Yes, and I've been to the border several times and have continued to work to make certain that we secure that southern border. And I thought, you know, it would be great to go down and focus on the humanitarian crisis at that border because the people that are buying the lie of the cartels are coming not from one or two countries, but from 176 different countries across that southern border into our country. They have been physically, mentally, emotionally, sexually, and drug abused when they get here. And to talk with these victims of human trafficking and drug trafficking and see the connection that is there between the Chinese Communist Party the cartels that are in charge of that Mexico side of our southern border and the way they are using human beings and drugs. Human trafficking has grown from being a half billion dollar a year business in 2018 to a 13 billion dollar a year business in 2022. And because of that, we wanted to look at these the crisis of those that are coming in and the crisis that is being caused in our country with people that are being poisoned. Our children are being poisoned by fentanyl that is coming across this border. We had 69,000 people die of fentanyl death last year. It is the biggest killer of people 18 to 45 and is the fastest growing killer of children under 18. So focusing on the humanitarian side is so imperative. I think so too. And I think one of the